get usa election result with just 12 lines of python this is super easy super simple and definitely easier than the usa election so let's get started Before getting into the detail, please, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, grandma will come to your house and force you to count USA votes. And the first thing you will need here is to have Python installed in your computer. And we will use a Python code editor called PyCharm. And it will take just a few seconds for the PyCharm to get started. And then we will use a simple Python package in our project. So the first thing that we will do is to create a new project and we'll give it a name like USA election result. And then we will press enter. And this will take just a few seconds for the project to be ready. And we will use a simple uh, Python package, but this is very powerful and very useful. And the name of this package is called Pandas. Pandas is a very powerful, very useful thing, but we will not just go to this bamboo eating pandas, rather we will go for Python pandas. So if you search for the Python pandas, you will go to their documentation and they have so many different things to be done. But all we need to do is to install it in, in our project and it just needs like a three words. That's it. So I will clear everything here and then click on this terminal. And inside this terminal, I will type pip install pandas and you will install the pandas and this will take few seconds for the pandas to be ready for your project. Once this pandas is installed, you need to install a small package and that's why we will write pip install lxml and this would be helpful for you to parse results. And once all this ready, all we have to do, go to the Google and search for USA election uh, 2020, something like this. And if you search for it, Google will give you so many things, but ignore all these and scroll down a little bit and find the page of the Wikipedia where you will get this USA election. And by using this URL, all we will do is parse the result that mentioned in the Wikipedia and show it in our project. And since we already installed pandas, uh, we can close this dude and then import pandas. And then by using pandas, we can read from the Wikipedia. So we can declare a variable called wiki and then call pandas. Hey pandas, don't eat bamboos, eat some HTML. And we can tell it to read HTML. And then we will give this URL inside single code. That's it. And then pandas will start looking into the HTML without spending time eating bamboos. And from wiki, you want to get the fourth things from the wiki, the data that pandas read from there. So you can declare a variable name election and that would be wiki and it would be your number fifth. This is like fourth position data. And from there, you can just print the election here and let's see what it gives to you. You will see that once you print this, it gives you some information. And if you scroll that there are some information, this is your first column. This is your second column where it's like Joe Biden and then how many electoral vote this person have, how many popular vote this person get. And you can get all this information super easy. So you don't need to go to Wikipedia. You don't need to search on Google. You can just run this uh, three lines of uh, Python to get the results but we will try to make it a little bit fancier for us. So in that case, we will get the information of the first candidate because you know, this, this is your election data and the first index is the first candidate here. So we will use this. That means like candidate one. So maybe candidate one equals to election and then you will get the index one. And if you print candidate one, and you will see now you will see these information of the first candidate of the election. And once you get this information of the first candidate, you can extract the name of the candidate. You can extract the uh, maybe the electoral board, maybe uh, the popular board and all this information. Super easy. So declare a variable like say, for example, candidate one uh, name. And all you need to do is from candidate one, you will need to get this value. And you see here, it gives you the index 
next to it. So this zero index is nothing. And the first index is your name of the candidate. So you can just type one here as if you're accessing from a list. That's it. And you got the name and same way you can get like a candidate one, maybe uh, electoral uh, votes or how many votes this person got. And that would be uh, candidate one. And you see the information is in the index five. So this is super easy. We'll get the five one and you can get like a candidate uh, one and you'll get like a maybe popular vote or maybe like how many people uh, votes for this person. So popular is equals to candidate uh, one. And then this information is uh, on the index of seven. So that's super easy. You are just accessing by using an array index. That's it. And exactly the same thing you can do for candidate two, because once you had this election, uh, you know that candidate two was the index two. So we can just copy all these things. Uh, and if you want to just do the same way, and that would be your uh, candidate two. So we will do in a little bit easier way here. So that would be print here and then candidate. Uh, we will get the election once again, and we want to see the election result two, 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 as an output here. And we know this is the second candidate and which is like a Donald Trump and then how many electoral vote he got so far and then how many popular stuff. So we can just make it super easy by copying it here. So we'll paste it. This would be like election index number two. And for index number two, this would be our candidate number two. That means this would be candidate two name would be candidate two from index one. And candidate two votes would be these two, 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 two. this would be the two. And then this would be uh, candidate number uh, popular and this would be like this too. You can easily write out the winner. Maybe that if that uh, candidate one, so for example, uh, candidate one votes is greater than uh, candidate two votes, you can just say that candidate one is the winner. You can easily do that here. And that's like a print, uh, maybe the candidate one name, you can say like uh, candidate one name, and then you say like a winner. And if that is not the case, you will do like else that you can say like a print uh, candidate two name is the winner. So two, 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 winner. So you can easily do that, find out the winner. You don't need this, uh, this information. If you just skip it, you can put everything in just two outlines of code. So if you run this uh, and it will tell us that uh, and the result is Joe Biden is the winner. From now on, don't search on Google, don't go to YouTube or turn on television, rather write some lines of Python code and find the winner of the USA election. That's all from this video. And if you like this video, please, please subscribe to this channel and your grandma and I will keep making videos. So keep watching Programming Hero.